Dan Moskal here, and we are going over step three of writing your book. We haven't even started, really. What we were focusing on earlier was creating your outline and uh, also kind of formatting and doing some research and really getting the ideas percolating for your book. And step three is to actually break your book up and just start writing. It is, I promise, it's difficult, but you got to get this stuff out of your head, and you got to just start somewhere. One of the ways that we usually start is on a specific topic or subject. So, for example, the next little bite-sized chunk that we're going to be working on within our affiliate marketing book, uh, the way we've earned a living since 2006, is affiliate marketing networks. And we're just going to start talking about that. We've done some work already today and uh, here in the past few days. And the idea is just, just get started. Just start writing about it. We don't want to overthink this. It's kind of the third part here is you don't want to overthink because when you're writing a book, there's a whole bunch of moving parts. And what we usually do, we actually like the dragon dictate so we can talk out our book rather than type it however you like to write just do it but work on just little sections and then what we like to do is just copy and paste all these sections together and what we're gonna do here once we get all our content out this is really just getting the meat of your book out like getting those words onto paper because what we're gonna go back once we have all our meat out what we're gonna do is go back and organize and this is kind of just the first draft if that makes sense so when we go back and organize it and put it all into the appropriate places I know there's going to be a whole bunch of things that we've left out in certain areas and that's where we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of that information we'll fill in what we've left out we'll start working on the flow of our book how it's going to flow we'll really start to organize the sections and the bigger idea is your book is going to slowly evolve very rarely and if you can do this you know maybe you're one of the few but very few and very rarely that I'm aware of do people you know create their outline for their book and follow exactly what it says when it comes to writing okay here's chapter one one doing it just in a sequence and then two does it very rarely actually follow your plans like it's important to be flexible enough to adjust your plans and you know you may think so for example with our book one of the first chapters we're thinking we have two things we're thinking is either one tell some stories such as the story about how my brother, Ben Moskal, got me started with pay-per-click advertising. He's a, as he likes to call, a retired attorney. Uh, he had the dreams of Boston legal television, sipping cognac and smoking cigars with William Shatner after winning a big case that were blown up in smoke once he got into the real world and discovered what being an attorney was really like. A few years later, he retired and got me started like I said, way back when in 2006, um, we're thinking either that or to start with some of the examples of what affiliate marketing is. Uh, so for example, we got a direct mailing postcard just a, I believe it was maybe a week ago from Bluehost, one of the companies that we have our web sites hosted with, and they were doing affiliate marketing by promoting Google AdWords, an online advertising platform. Uh, it just it's not online they were doing it offline and through direct mail but that is affiliate marketing I mean affiliate marketing I don't know where they got that name from but from our research we saw that a lot of folks are looking into it as being a scam or how it can be a scam or I think a lot of it has to do with just being I don't know affiliate marketing just doesn't sound good but uh, just don't overthink this stuff really right here we're just writing just write 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 and then we'll go back and we're gonna organize it we're gonna clean it up a little bit we're gonna make sure the flow all goes well it's really just breaking it up into small bite-sized chunks and then just getting that stuff out of your head into words and on paper that is the what we're focusing on right here that's really the objective of step number three is getting it out of your head and getting it on paper and we'll go back through and clean it all up later and you know make sure that everything's spelled correctly and add some quotes and add some images and even break it up into chapters and sections but right now we just got to get it out of our head and one of the other things you can't forget 
And as I'm, we haven't even talked about titling your book, if you've got a great title already, perfect. But start thinking about your title and start thinking about how you're going to do the marketing. Like, what's the very first part of your book? What's the first chapter? What's the first section? Because as you'll see, and if you visit DanMoskalUniversity.com, we're giving away a free copy of our most recent book, Email Marketing That Works, so you don't have to. But as you can see, when we click on here, we've got this description here, and that's something you should start thinking about when it comes to marketing it. And then you also have your table of contents. You also have your first pages. So for example, you know, you can see here's our first pages. You know, this is what people can see, and this is what they're going to make a decision about. That's my little nephew. They're going to make a decision based on these first few pages that they can see about your book. And uh, <laughs> don't forget to include and inject. We'll talk more about this in the future, but talk about who you are and some stories about your life. For example, like I lost the ability to speak, the ability to write, the ability to read, the ability to communicate when I had a brain aneurysm burst when I was a youngster. I was 12 or 13 at the time, spent six weeks in the hospital, had brain surgery. It was a whole ordeal. But those are the things, and just as another example, not talking about me, uh, a book I was reading by Gaber Mate, that gentleman was a survivor of, I believe it was World War II and the Holocaust, but he doesn't tell you that until like 150 pages into his book. If he told me that in the beginning, I would have been you know, a little bit more interested and engaged. People are interested in you, and you got to think about your book just like everything you do. On, on one level or another, it is some form of entertainment, and you do want people to be entertained. You can still be entertaining and educate, and still be entertaining and teach, or still be entertaining, and maybe all you're wanting to do is entertain folks. So uh, just right here in this step, step number three, just get it out of your head and get it on paper. And in the meantime, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and get the rest of these steps. We're going to have this book published, or at least out of our head, and all, probably all done and reviewed and everything. Our plan is for the November 30th. So please leave any comments, questions, subscribe to our newsletter. We're going to put this on a playlist and check that out. And also visit danmoskleyuniversity.com. We're going to give you a free copy of our most recent book, and that's email marketing that works so you don't have to. Um, we've been doing this online marketing thing since 2006. We also have two other books. They're available obviously at Amazon, also in the Kindle, also at barnesandnoble.com, also on the Nook, and also in iTunes right here, and we're also at audible.com. So please have a great afternoon or night, and looking forward to talking to you again soon.